In this video, I'll be showing you two pair of Tifosi glasses that I'll be using for cycling. I get asked all the time what glasses that I'm wearing in my videos, so I'll show them to you close up. Now, I've lost two pair of glasses in the last four weeks. One of them was on a Tuesday night group ride where I put the glasses in my jersey pocket, got done with the ride, and they were gone. Couldn't find them when I went back to look for them. The second was riding in North Carolina recently, and I stopped somewhere, started talking to someone, got going again, and obviously forgot to pick up the glasses. The first pair that I'll show you is the Sledge. The Sledge is an interchangeable lens glasses, and I'll be using these for my gravel riding because I like having two different pair of glasses, one for mountain biking and one for gravel. So for gravel, I keep on the darker lens because I'm usually riding in the sun in the middle of the day. And then for mountain biking, I like to have a clear lens or maybe a slightly yellow one. So the other pair that I'll be showing you is the Slice. And the Slice is a Phototech lens. So these are the ones that actually darken when you get out into the sun. So let's take them out of the box and look at the glasses and see what you get with them. Let's take a look at the Sledge first. So this is a pair of glasses that Tifosi have just come out with. So in typical Tifosi fashion, you get a really nice hard shell case. And I like these cases because they're not too big and I can throw them in my bike bag and they don't take up a lot of room. So I got the white ones. It's going to match my gravel helmet, which is a Zero helmet with a visor. I love riding with a visor on gravel roads. So yeah, these are a really cool looking pair of glasses and I'll try them on so you can get an idea of what they look like. So this is the bigger one and I like having a lot of coverage when riding gravel. Also in the case, you get the different lenses and you also get a holder. So there's a little Velcro pouch that holds the lens. And so this just kind of fastens to the front of the case. And this is the clear lens. So if I wanted to use these for mountain biking, I could, or if I'm riding at night. So in the winter time, I do nighttime gravel rides. And then this is uh, kind of a amberish looking lens. This one would probably be a little bit better for not so bright sunny days. So maybe overcast or those kind of days where you get out and it's sunny and then it's cloudy and it's kind of a mixed. So these look like they're going to be pretty dark. So these are going to be just for sunny days. So I'm going to show you the slice first and then I'll try both of these on so you can see what they look like. Okay, so the slice I don't think is an interchangeable lens. I think it's just one lens. It's the photo tech. So. That's really cool because sometimes when I'm mountain biking, I'll get out into the sun on some open sections and then back into the woods. And it's really nice to have the glasses that darken when you get in the sun. Before I was using the Tifosi Amox, and I will put the link in the description below of the last video that I did with Tifosi. It's been over a year since I've shown some new Tifosi glasses. So the Amox, I really like them, but they contacted my forehead a little bit, and so they could get some sweat dripping on them. The reason I went with the Slice is because these are designed where they won't really contact your forehead. They sit out a little bit uh, because of the nose piece and the design. So these should be some really, really good glasses for mountain biking. All right, so let me try these on so you can get an idea of how big they are and how they look. I'll put on my gravel riding helmet, which by the way is a Zero Artex MIPS. I get asked all the time about this helmet too. Like I said, one with a visor on it and I really like having a visor. So uh, let's try these on. This is the first time. Let's take a little sticker off so you can get the full view there. If you can, always put the arms over your straps if you want to be cycling fashionable. So there we go. Those are the sledge glasses with the Zero Artex MIPS. Kind of European looking in my opinion. I think these look, man, these look really good. What do you think? All right, while I have this helmet on, let me put the slice on because sometimes I will wear this helmet for cross country. And the other thing I love about this helmet is how easy the visor comes off. I'll show you that in a minute. So the slice, by the way, are quite a bit lighter than the sledge, quite a bit. Like these feel, like I really don't have anything on my face. I can barely feel this. And I get a better gap with the slice on my forehead. So these, if, if, I, if I push them all the way against my face, they would touch, but the Tifosi nose piece is actually really nice. And I can position these where they will sit off of my face. Now, when you're mountain biking, it's a little bit harder to keep them off of your face because you're moving around so much. 
I can, even when I push these all the way back, they don't even touch my forehead. So these are going to be perfect for mountain biking. I'm really glad I went with these. So the visor off, it just pops right off. So this is probably the setup that I use for mountain biking. Man, these, these feel great. Like I just, obviously the first time I've tried these on, I'm really liking these. These are lighter than any Tifosi glasses that I've ever used. So the slice so far, this is what I'd recommend for mountain biking. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put on my trail helmet and we'll see how these glasses look with the trail helmet. So the trail helmet is a Giro fixture, also a MIPS helmet. It's a little big, but I still like this helmet a lot. It's probably the best value in helmets. So the, these straps stick out a lot because the helmet's so wide. And so I cannot put the arms over the straps, but uh, this is probably gonna be my setup for trail riding. And I'm not gonna set these down because I really don't wanna lose another pair of Tifosi glasses. So again, that's the slice with the uh, fixture MIPS. Just for the heck of it, let's see what these look like. This is a setup I would not use, but anyway. All right, so let's say you just wanna be fashionable and wear the Tifosi glasses without a helmet. How do they look? Rockstar, I would say. <laughs> These I probably would not wear just for fashion. Uh, they do darken a little bit, but um, just kind of walking around, I probably wouldn't wear these. I don't know though. They actually, God, they're so light. These would be good for running too, by the way. If you like to run, these feel like, I mean, they just won't move around. To me, the sledge look like they're more of just a, kind of a road, road sunglass. I mean, I guess you could use them on a mountain bike, especially with the interchangeable lens. So maybe I'll do a follow-up review after using these for a few months, and maybe I'll try the lighter lens in these for mountain biking and let you know. If you like a lot of coverage, make sure you don't want to get mud like up underneath the glasses into your eye. Um, these are probably good for mountain biking too. So again, I'll report back after I use these for a few months to let you know what I think. All right, that's it for this quick video. Thanks for watching. The sledge is an interesting. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> In this video, I'll be sure. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> I can't do it, dude.